A triple murder in the New Bowens community of Maple and Clarendon has residents on edge and some moving out of the area. It's the latest in a series of murders and shooting in the area where police and soldiers are now keeping watch. TVJ's Krista Campbell has the details. A scene residents say has become too frequent in New Bowens, Clarendon. Too much for the police alone, soldiers are helping to keep an eye in the area. Four murders in the space of three days. On Thursday night, three new victims, 19-year-old Chadwayne Watson, 29-year-old Dermot Donaldson, and 39-year-old ex-police Eddie Richards. They were at a shop in the community about to play dominoes about 8.45. Their family members, some of whom did not want to appear on camera, say they were all good men who did not have any disputes with anyone. Very hard working. You have two, three children, I may tell you. A man didn't really sit down for joke. I make, make you understand. Inside of my earth. Honestly, I don't care from last night, but this man, I'm come and see the blood. I couldn't hold it no longer. I have to cover up the blood. Every time I look and see the blood, I cry. I can't take it. I can't manage can't take it, it's hot, 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 hot. I tell him, I don't know how I'm going to manage it. Just 24 hours, how I'm going to live with it, I'm going to live with it for my life. Just start him and his colleagues, them, and me and my bigger man, them colleagues sit there. So too. And we say, listen, man, be careful and try to stay here so we can soon and stay out of trouble and be good. Talk to him and he say, yes, daddy. I left everything to God because I said, I leave all vengeance to him. And I know I'll get my reward. I know my one son, first child. And then come and take him like that. TVJ News understands that residents have been moving out of the area in fear. Those left behind, the families of the latest victims, are calling for unity among residents to address the rising crime in their community. They also want the police to work closer with them. I come from a garrison at home and I find peace and safety here. I carry my family down here, married and go to my church and have my kids in here. And everything was peace and safety. Everything was good until this just pop up. I'm not lie. I feel so tired. I'm tired. Right? I can't take it no more. If I choose the night, I cry. I know I can't stop crying. I'm tired. Right? I'm not like, if it stop, I'm tired. I'm tired of this. I don't know what made them do it her that these last night um, actually lost animals blame the previous person killed for a part of the stealing ring. We're also finding out that a female killed in St. Elizabeth, she's relative to persons being killed here and the animal stealing situation is stretching from here to St. Elizabeth. So we are doing a joint investigation with the St. Elizabeth police officers to see if we can identify other persons involved. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.